as a leader, you make difficult decisions for change. An investment decision, product development choices, structure reorganization, starting a new venture. It's complex and the stakes can be high. Various forces are against change or favor change. On the balance, how do you know if you are going to win and get to the desired future? Make a list of pluses and minuses and follow your gut feel. There are too many unknowns, too many biases. Here is a tool that can help you make sensible decisions for change. It is the force field analysis. Two days of miserable weather in Cape Town. So I'm recording within walking distance of my bed on this Sunday. Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. When you face a complex decision for change, how do you maximize momentum and reduce the risk of failure? Kurt Lewin, a social psychologist, developed forced field analysis in the 1950s. It is a powerful diagnostic tool used in change management. It can help you make personal decisions in complex situations or prepare for large-scale management of change. The idea behind force field analysis is that situations are maintained by, that, by an equilibrium between forces that drive change and others that resist change. For change to happen, the driving forces must be strengthened or the resisting forces weakened. It's like a tug of war, as the effect of the driving forces is greater than that of the restraining forces, change happens towards the desired future. From the now to the way. Let's take a simplified example to see how it works. First, state the change you want to see. An organization is phasing out an old financial system to a new ERP-1. They want to see a successful transition and adoption on time, on budget. Two, identify the restraining forces. You list out all the factors that oppose or hinder the change. In this example, the classic restraining forces are resistance to change among employees due to lack of familiarity with the new system, high cost of implementing the new system, limited resources available for training employees to use the new system. Three, Identify the driving forces. They are all the factors that support or push for the change. Here we listed. The new system will increase efficiency and productivity. The old system is outdated and needs to be replaced. The new system will reduce errors and increase accuracy. Four, rate the relative strength of each force. Assign a score of one to five for each force, where one represents weak and five represents strong. Now you see, the scores reflect the relative strength of each force and how much it impacts the likelihood of the change being successful. This is quite subjective and it helps to do that with the team. You want to reduce the cognitive bias and have a realistic picture. Five, analyze the results. Add up the scores of the driving and restraining forces separately to determine which side is stronger. The overall score can give an indication of whether the change is likely to succeed or fail. In this example, the driving forces are stronger than the restraining forces. This indicates that the change has a good chance of success. Now, you still want to brainstorm ways to strengthen the driving forces and weaken the restraining forces. You want to maximize your chances of successful change. Here are some of the success factors for your force field analysis. 
carry the analysis in small groups of up to eight people who are directly involved in the change implementation process. The idea here is to use factual information and reduce individual cognitive biases. Involve those likely to be affected by the change. You already gain the commitment and support of the change project. Okay, let's recap. Force field analysis is a powerful diagnostic tool used in change management. It can help you make personal decisions in complex situations or prepare for large scale management of change. You state the change clearly, identify and rate the restraining and driving forces, you brainstorm ways of weakening the restraining forces and strengthening the driving forces. You can now make decisions and plan for change. And this is the good quote for this episode. Peter Drucker wrote, The greatest danger in times of turbulence is not the turbulence itself, but to act with yesterday's logic. Isn't this a gloomy wet weather? You may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. If you would like to meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching, send me an email at wwd at mp.solutions. I will gladly start a conversation with the first three viewers who contact me. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well.